It's the Slam Dunk. All right. Uh, good morning. 0800 863 293 is the number. Now, hmm, I've got some seriously good news to share uh, with you, and, and you will shake your head, and you will not want to believe it because of what you hear and, and see, and also because of prejudice and belief and, and all that. But whatever we've done, we're succeeding with youth crime, according to the Justice Ministry report yesterday. It's halved in the past decade. Take a bow. Um, the cops, parents, youth workers, success of government policies, it is a success. And we don't shout about our wins nearly enough, right? Our young people have got the message seemingly, and, and it's working. Isn't it great? We don't lock them up and throw away the key. We work um, alongside them. Sadly, here's the bad bit. Youth crime has risen a staggering 26% in just the past year. So long-term trend is down. The short-term trend has bounced up big time. 26% increase in, just in the past year. It's exploded. More young people are committing crimes, many for the first time, stealing, assault, theft, all that sort of thing. But the group of them uh, is small enough that surely we can do something to fix it. For a start, most of our teens um, are excellent, so let's just let's applaud them. Um, law-abiding, which is great. Um, so put away the prejudice. This is not something we can't sort. Last year, 877 14 to 16-year-olds faced police action. 877 for the serious and persistent offending. That's 26% increase on the year before. But it still is less than 1,000 bad young buggers. And not all are lost causes. Less than 1,000 to work with and get right. We can, we must not give up. I'm personally aware um, that um, the cops take these bad kids out fishing. And they try and sort it before they commit crime. So they take them away on these day trips. And the results are amazing, but no one talks about it. In New Zealand, uh, of the bad young kids, 90% of 10 to 13 year olds don't face court. 70% of 14 to 16 year old offenders stay out of court. So we're desperately trying to stop them ending up in custody and putting them into the hands of those who will make them gang members for lives. We must avoid that. The report says that police are taking proceedings against Māori children, more than two times the rate of other children. So that's concerning. Uh, those who say the system's racist, there we go, there's some evidence for them and some ammo. Um, adding boot camps as an option to straighten out these kids has copped huge criticism uh, that they don't work. Now, I hear that, but surely boot camps is the wrong term. It conjures up all sorts of 1970s images. But for one, I support them, some kind of modern approach to boot camps. Send these kids away for a straightening up. Their home life is clearly a poor influence, so let's see what can be achieved. And to show them that three meals a day and some sleeps actually can produce something. Show them structure and routine. Take away the, the gang influence. Watch them grow and identify what they're good at and can be achieved. Then bring in Tainer Poor, and he can tell them that prison for 22 years ain't good. There's not, there's not good guys in there. There's tough guys who will steal your days. Then bring in Willie Apiata to show them what you can be, and then bring in um, Richie McCaw, and um, he'll seal the deal. Fewer than 1,000 kids that need to hurry up. Surely we can do this. Duncan Garner.